How did I get 15,000 views, make money on my channel's first ever YouTube video with zero editing skills and the worst equipment possible? Let me show you. I, I'm, any of you listening, if, if you, especially if you have zero views on your channel, your first video is not gonna give views. This of course wasn't the first video I ever posted. So back when COVID started, around that time period, I made a YouTube channel on video games and just started posting clips practicing thumbnails and practicing titles and just playing around with YouTube until something crazy happened on my very fifth video ever made. I got 22,000 views. This was an absolute shock at the time, fifth video ever getting that many views when previously it was exciting to get about 100. Um, it showed me that there was maybe potential in this. Maybe I could actually learn YouTube. So I kept practicing, making thumbnails, getting videos, to get a couple thousand views. Um, I switched video games, boom, first video for the new video game, 14,000 views. I also reached the huge milestone that all new YouTubers want to reach, the thousand subscriber mark. At this point, I created the new YouTube channel using Canva and went to the planning phase. As you can see here, I use Canva for absolutely everything when it comes to thumbnails or logos. You see my very first one ever right here. And just slowly over time after making them, and then putting out videos, I started to understand how to make thumbnails, what works, what doesn't, what grabs attention. And I used this knowledge to make my thumbnail for my first video on my brand new channel. But before creating the thumbnail, you need a banger idea. So the thumbnail process is all about taking your idea and making it exciting for someone else when they see it. So I asked myself two questions. What am I passionate about? And what could I make a video about that could help someone else and appeal to someone? So I'm passionate about fitness. I'm a personal trainer in real life. I love working out. And a long time ago, I had an injury that really, really sucked called colostum chondritis. And it's like a very rare and misunderstood condition. And I found myself when I had the condition, I was looking all over YouTube, trying to figure it out, watching other people's videos to understand it. Those videos helped me and I found the help I need. I found how to fix it and get through it. And then I went through that recovery process and then it just clicked for me. I was the perfect example of my audience. Someone else out there is gonna need the same help I needed. So I shared my own story. So now I have my idea and I identify an audience that the video will apply to. And now I create my thumbnail. Nothing too crazy going on. You don't want the thumbnail to be confusing, straight to the point, showing where the pain from the condition was inflicting some emotion, pain-free, that's what people are searching for. And this is what gets people to click on your video. A thumbnail is always one of the most important things. Now that I've caught someone's attention with my thumbnail, I need to make a good title. My Casa can try a story, you are not alone. So if you're someone with this condition in a lot of pain, not knowing what's going on, just like me going onto YouTube, you're looking for someone you can relate with. This gets them to click on the video. Now that the idea is planned, I need to go study my competition. So I'll go find similar videos, watch them, and see what they have going on. This is when I realized I could monetize my video just like the person's video that I watched when I had the issue and was trying to understand it, monetize their video. They had an affiliate link for this product right here. This is the back pod. This is the product that almost everyone uses the fix this condition I've been talking about, um, it has amazing reviews on Amazon. So I did the same thing they did. I shared my story and then I just put a little link about this little object right here in the description. And as you can see here, I don't have any crazy or good equipment. I have a UB size ring light, it's very small, but it produces enough light for those shots you saw earlier. I have a Logitech webcam and then I have a HyperX solo cast a very small i do actually really like this one um i'll have some links in the description if you want to look at any of those and then i use a free editing software i use obs studio and davinci resolve great now i have a new channel with a video idea a great thumbnail and a great title and the whole video recorded now but how do i get anyone to watch this video youtube has no data on your channel it doesn't know who to push your video out to so that's why we help YouTube and give your video a boost. I love using Reddit for this. In Reddit, there's lots of communities out there for specific topics. And there was one for the topic of my video and I knew these people for my target audience. So I made a thread and I posted my video. And before you know it, I got traffic from Reddit. And then slowly and slowly, once YouTube started to understand who my target audience was, YouTube gave me traffic on YouTube. 
and it's been growing ever since. I even used the same method for the video that got 22k views on my other channel. I wouldn't use this method every single time because you don't need to spam in reddit threads but I would use it to get started on a brand new YouTube channel and then after YouTube understands your audience when you start posting you'll get natural views anyways. And there you have it my process. I actually use this exact same process to make the video we're watching right now so if you have any questions please let me know in the comments and consider leaving a sub if you want to see more videos like this on YouTube content.